Yo, what up guys, Lou here uh, from Trying Strength and Athletics. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick video on the power of positivity and positive thought um, and having that killer mindset a little bit. Um, a quick little history lesson on myself. Um, growing up, I, you know, like everybody else, I guess, I played around as a kid, played all type of sports. Thinking about my athletic uh, career, I played all different sports. I wasn't exactly the best athlete. I'm not the most gifted, but I did play and worked, and uh, I, you know, I excelled in certain things because I worked harder than others, and that's how it has been my whole life. And that's the only thing I know how to do is just to work. Um, so when it comes to business, I apply the same logic and the same mindset. It's just work, and whatever obstacles come in the way, you fucking knock them out of the way. It's as simple as that. It's not just given to you. That's something that's developed, not just like having heart. Um, you just don't have this. It's, it's instilled in you through work ethic and, and, and you got to work for it. Um, but I see that in a lot of, of uh, you know, different formats in society. And I see that with the kids that I work with sometimes. And I reflect back onto my thought processes that as, as a kid. And uh, one thing I didn't, I did lack is is basically self, 120% self-confidence. And there's a difference between self-confidence and just plain arrogance. Um, and arrogance, uh, to me, personally, is that you 100% believe that you're just better than people in, in all aspects. Um, but being self-confident in yourself and skills is a powerful tool to possess and have in life because the realism of it is that life is tough. Um, some people's parents kind of baby them their whole lives and don't, necessarily get them ready for what life has to bring life is tough I mean some people go through more shit than others and it's called adversity that chisels you out hardens you up and you do with what you want of it some people use that adversity as an excuse to be the way they are um, you know example whatever it is and some people use that as motivation to get the fuck up out of their situation and do what they got to do so I same thing as in, in, I use a lot of uh, weight room lessons or weight room. The gym is just like a metaphor for life. It hardens you up. Um, I truly believe, for the most part, that what you are on the outside, what you, what, the reflection of what you see is who you truly are on the inside. Um, obviously, that's some deep shit in there, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. But... The real of it is, in life, in general, shit happens. Um, you either crawl up into a little ball and start crying your eyes out and expect the shit to just fix itself, or you basically uh, rise up, grab the shit by the horns, and flip it over and snap its neck. It's as simple as that, as aggressive and as crazy as that sounds. Uh, so, what I try to, besides uh, the actual lifting that I go through uh, with kids and putting muscle on them and making them bigger, stronger, faster, and doing all that. There's a lot more life lessons that, that I try to instill and teach them um, that you can apply through the weight room because they see you as a older brother, a um, guy that's been around, and you were once them at one time, and I really was. It wasn't that long ago that I was in their shoes. So having that killer, killer, uh, that, that killer mindset of just attacking every day, waking up with a purpose, knowing exactly what you want to do, knowing exactly where you want to go is a must. Um, once you figure out what your passions are in life and what you love to do, work is nothing. Work is really nothing. It's, it's, you, you love to do it. There's things that come along the way, but it's really not as bad as waking up to something that you hated to do, which some of you guys don't know this. I did electrical work for eight to nine years of my life. Um, I necessarily hate the work. I just didn't hurt. I just did not like the environment that I was always in, um, and the nonsense I had to put up with with that. Um, so remember, keep that mindset. Keep uh, keep chugging along. Don't ever, 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 ever give up. Um, that should be my slogan. And uh, keep chugging, man. That's, that's all I got to say to you guys. All right. So try and strengthen athletics. Um, check out the blog. I got tons of, I put up three or four articles a week. 
I'm going to have interviews for you guys um, from some pretty talented people from all different aspects of lifting and life in general. But uh, yeah, we're trying to athletics. Till later. <laughs>